Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm Semantics. Today we have really interesting exponential equations, 3 to the x plus x equal to 5. This is a question from entrance examination, and right now you can easily check your school knowledge, you can easily pause the video and write your assumption, write your solution down into the comment section, we will check our answers. Okay, so first of all, let's bring this x from our left side to right side. As a result, what do we have right here? We have 3 to the x on our left side, equal to 5 minus x. Okay, right now let's change position. Let's write this 5 minus x on the left side and this one on the right side. As a result, we will have like 5 minus x equal to equal to 3 to the power x. It changed nothing. We can easily write it on left side, on right side, because we have we have equal sign. What are we going to do next? Right now, let's try to group our x's, our variables on the left side and our constant on the right side. For this, let's divide both sides by, so let's divide both sides by 3 to the power x. Okay? When we divide both sides by 3 to the x, we will have like 5 minus x on the on the left side. We need to divide by 3 to the x. Okay? And we do the same thing with the right side. Okay? We have 3 to the x divided by by 3 to the x. Right now, if you look closely, this 3 to the x, we can easily cancel with this 3 to the x. Okay, we can easily do this, absolutely the same thing. And this 3 to the x on uh, on our left side, we can bring from our denominator to numerator. But I hope you, you know about the really great property. If we have, for example, 1 divided by a to the power x, we can easily write it as a to the power minus x. So we need to put minus right here in our in our power. So we have 3 to the power minus x. Okay, so let's do the thing right now. As a result, we have 5 minus x on the left side, and we bring this 3 to the x from our denominator to numerator. So times 3 to the power minus x, okay? Minus x equal to equal to 1. Okay, so we have we have something like that. Right now, it's a really great thing because we need to know, we need to remember about lambda w function. We are going to apply this lambda w function. But first of all, let's change right here position. Don't ask me why, but it helps us a lot. We will change position right here. So we will have minus x plus 5, okay, times 3 to the power minus x equal to 1. And right now, let's try to mm, apply lambda w function right here. But previously, a few words about lambda w function. Maybe someone don't know about this lambda w function. So just imagine we have expression like that. So we have mm, expression like a times e to the power a. If we apply lambda w function from this expression, we will have, as a result, we have only our a. And for example, we have something like that. We have like uh, 3 times e to the power 3. And when we apply lambda w function from this expression, as a result, we have 3, according to this property, okay? According to this definition, okay? So a is whatever you want expression, doesn't matter. It can be constant, it can be variable, but we have, if you have the construction, if you have an expression like that, 3 times e to the power 3, or generally a times e to the power a, when we apply lambda double function, we have only our a on the right side. So it helps us a lot. But we don't have e, we don't have absolutely the same expression right here and right here. So it turns into a big argument. Right now, let's try to create this type of expression. So first of all, let's multiply both sides by 3 to the power 5. It helps us a lot. Let's do this thing right now. So as a result, what do we have right here? We have minus x plus 5, yeah, minus x plus 5, times 3 to the power minus x. And as I told before, we're going to multiply both sides by 3 to the power 5. So right here, we multiply by 3 to the power 5. And on the right side, so we have 1 times 3 to the power one, no, 5. But why I do this thing right now? Because if you look closely, right here, we have a really great property. We have the same base and different powers. And when we have multiplication, we need to add our powers, okay? So we have 3 to the power minus x plus 5, which is absolutely the same as right here. So it's, it's it get a little bit closer and closer to this lambda double function, okay? So let's do the thing right now. We have minus x plus 5 times 3 to the power minus x plus 5, okay? We're going to apply property right here, equal to 1 times 3 to the power 5 equal to 3 to the power, 3 to the power 5. Really great. Right now, as I told before, we need to apply lambda w function right here, but if you look closely, we have right here absolutely the same expression, we have right here absolutely the same expression. So it looks like this is this expression is ready for applying lambda w function. But if you look closely, right here we need to have e. But right here we have we have 3. So this is completely different interpretation right here. So we need to create e. How can you do this? There is a really great trick right here because when we write instead of this e, when we write e to the power nature log 3, which is equal to 3, okay? This is a really great moment right now, because instead of this 3, we're going to apply this e to the power natural log 3, okay? Let's do the thing right now. As a result, we have minus x plus 5 
times instead of three we're gonna write this one which is absolutely the same so we have e to the power nature log three but we need to raise this to the power minus x plus five okay so we have minus x minus x plus five we're gonna take it inside parentheses equal to three to the power five so i hope you understand this tricky moment right here instead of the three we wrote this e to the power nature log three instead of this instead of this three right now a really great moment to apply a property because if we have right here a to the power x raised to the power y we're going to write it as a to the power x times y so saying in other words we need to multiply our power so nature looks three times this expression let's do the thing right now so we're going to multi we're going to apply this property right here okay as a result what do we have right here we have minus x plus five yeah, minus x plus 5 times e to the power. Right, let's write this one as at first. So we have minus x plus 5 and times this natural log 3, natural log 3, equal to 3 to the power, 3 to the power 5. And right now, if we look closely, we have looks like a great expression to apply lambda double function. We have e, we have minus x plus 5, so um, behind this expression. So basically, I wanted to write, first of all, this proper, this lambda double function definition. So a to the power e, to the power a, if you apply lambda double function, we have a. So I want to write it once more. So first of all, we have e, we have e right here. We have, for example, this is our a minus x plus 5, and this is minus x plus 5 right here, but basically we have nature log 3. So this is not at the same thing. Right now, let's multiply both sides by nature log 3, and what will happen? Let's let's see what will happen right here. So we're going to multiply both sides by nature log 3. Okay, let's do the thing right now. So we have minus x plus 5 times nature log 3 times e to the power minus x plus 5 times nature log 3 equal to 3 to the power 5 times nature log 3. So we, we multiplied both sides to the power and to times nature log 3. And right now, let's look closely what do we have right here. Minus x plus 5 times nature log 3. For example, this is our a. And we have the same thing right here, minus x plus 5 times nature log 3. For example, this is not for example, this is the same expression as right here. So this is exactly our case. We have a times e to the power a, a times e to the power a. So we can easily apply lambda w function. Let's do the thing right now. Let's apply lambda w function on both sides. So we have right here our lambda w function of minus x plus 5, yeah, minus x plus 5 times nature log 3 times e to the power minus x plus 5 times natural log 3 and equal to lambda w function of 3 to the power 5 times natural log natural log 3 so we apply lambda w function on both on both sides right here as i told before we have absolutely the same expressions right here this is our a this is our a absolutely the same thing we have e so as a result we have only on the a on the on the left side but a in our case is this expression so we have minus x plus 5 times nature log 3 equal to this expression this is a constant doesn't matter this is a constant so absolutely great thing for us equal to lambda w function of 3 to the power 5 times nature log nature log 3 really great right now the final thing let's try to let's try to divide both sides by nature log 3 we can easily find our x from here so we divide both sides by nature log 3 okay because we need to find our x when we divide both side by nature log 3 we have minus x plus 5 equal to lambda w function of 3 to the power 5 times nature log 3 and we divide all of the thing by by nature log 3 okay by this nature log 3 from here we cancel this and as a result we have minus x plus 5 equal to this expression but don't be scared about this expression on the right side because this is a great expression because this is a constant so constant constant right here lambda w function of a constant is a constant as a result this is a constant it looks like complicated expression but this is a constant so in every calculator in every internet library you can easily find this expression but we need to find our x so as a result what do we have right here we have x equal to x equal to 5 minus lambda w function of 3 to the power 5 equal to 243 so we have 243 times nature log 3 yeah and we divide all of the thing by uh, by nature log 3 nature log 3 this is our final answer to this question this is our final answer to this to this really interesting entrance examination question so we have x equal to 5 minus this expression and for those who are interested in approximately answer so x approximately equal 
x approximately equal to 1.212. This is for those who are interested in approximately answer. Right now we can see a plot, you can see a graph to this challenge, you can easily see these points of points of intersection. Basically we have exponential function and a linear function, so we can easily see this this point of intersection. This is our answer according to maybe you sit in on your exam, this is your final answer on your exam, but if you're interested, if you like do, uh, don't like math or you don't need this to solve this challenge completely, you can easily see this approximately answer to this question, so we have 1.21 and two. So I hope you understand my explanation. Also write a question down into the comment section, write your suggestion down into the comment section. What do you think about this approach? What do you think about this solution? It will be really interesting to read about it. It will be really interesting to exchange information. And thank you for your time. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your kind response. Thank you for your likes, for your dislikes. I really appreciate it. It helped me a lot to improve my videos. It helped me a lot to to improve content every day and I try to post video day by day or maybe like a little bit later but I, I think a lot of you like enjoy it I, I hope a lot of a lot of you enjoy this kind of content and thank you for your time wish you all the best in your life take care of yourself and love mess